So we have big things to talk about, but uh, first I have to say something. It's somewhat uh, personal, but also national news. A friend of mine, dear friend of mine, good friend of this show, got stabbed today, Salman Rushdie. I'm sure people have seen this news. Um, he was stabbed by someone named Haj, Hadi Matar. We don't know the motivation yet, but Sal did have some enemies in the past, as I recall. So I'm guessing Hadi is not Amish. <laughs> Sal was in Chattaqua. He was giving a lecture, how about this for irony, about how the U.S. is a safe haven for exiled writers and other artists under threat of persecution. And making that speech itself is unthinkable in most Muslim countries. Salman Rushdie living in most Muslim countries without getting stabbed every day is unthinkable. So don't come at me with Islamophobic. Phobic means fear, right? Well, Sal had a good reason to be fearful. Uh, and when you say phobic, it's just a way to shut off debate. You know, the youth transphobic, Islamophobic, and we should have a debate about this. Sorry, but, you know, these things don't go away. Islam is still a much more fundamentalist religion than any of the other religions in the world, and that means they take what's in the holy book seriously, and that has been dangerous for a long time. It's still dangerous. This was 1989 when he was first threatened. You know, they say, we have a long memory. We got, just got Al Iwan Al Zawahiri. We were bragging about, well, we can't get away from... They have a long memory, too. So what are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I want to just draw your attention to a quote from Salman Rushdie. The defense of free speech begins at the point when people say something you can't stand. You often have to defend people you find outrageous, unpleasant and disgusting. And that's the point, I think, that people have forgotten in this debate about free speech, which is it's not about the right of people you agree with to say what they like, and then you nod along. Mm -hmm. It's about your ability to listen to people whose opinions you might staunchly disagree with. You might hate their opinions. You might hate them. But you should be able to tolerate their right, right. to have a different opinion. 